Weight can be a tricky thing. Keeping tabs on it might make you more motivated to stay active and fit, but at the same time, putting on a couple of pounds can lead you into a downward spiral of, why do I bother? What if I told you a new scale I'm reviewing gives you the option of taking your body measurements, but keeping them secret until you really want or need to know? That's just one of the interesting features of the Withings Body Smart Scale. In this review, I'll show you what you're getting with this scale, what it can measure, and what makes it unique. I've also had huge challenges setting these scales up in the past from Withings, so I'll let you know if anything has improved after my last disastrous experience. I'll wrap things up with the pros and the cons and let you know if I think I can recommend this smart scale for you. When you unpack the box, you're really only getting one thing, and that's your Withings Body Smart Scale. Fortunately, the batteries are included. You'll need to remove a small protector from underneath the compartment lid, and once you do, you should be ready to get set up. I delayed the setup of my scale for as long as possible because, if I'm being honest, I was dreading it. I've documented previous experiences with Withings products, which resulted in literal hours-long setup experiences and calls to customer service for help when things didn't work correctly. I am both thrilled and flabbergasted to report that with this scale, I was able to follow the in-app sequence and had it connected to my phone in less than five minutes. I did have one small glitch where once I entered my Wi-Fi network information, I got an error message, but I just clicked the try again button and it went through the second time. Now this is much easier than what happened to me in the previous reviews. So then it was time to take that first measurement. The first time I measured myself, I went to check it in the app, but I couldn't find any measurements under the latest measurements tab. Now, fortunately for me, I've been here before, so I knew what to do, but I still think this is kind of a frustrating user experience that Withings could still further streamline. What you'll need to do to begin recording your weight is to go into the small square scale icon in the top right corner of the app. This is known as My Devices. Next, you'll tap Unknown Measurements. In here, you will likely see the measurement you just took. You need to assign this measurement to yourself as a user, so select the measurement and then assign it to yourself. Then in Latest Measurements, you should see that number. Essentially, you have to tell the scale who you are and what your weight is off the top so it knows where to assign future weigh-ins. I think this is kind of tedious and adds steps, and it's really not how most other smart scales work. They tend to default the measurements to the first user until you set up another one. Now, Withings says that after a few measurements, the scale should recognize you and begin assigning those measurements to your profile. Kinda. If you see a small person icon on your scale with an X through it, it means your measurements are not being assigned to you. I decided to take multiple measurements all at once to try to hurry this setting along, but it didn't seem to have much effect until after about the sixth time. After that, the unknown measurements tab almost seemed to vanish from my app and the measurements looked like they were being recorded automatically. I also got confirmation on screen on the scale with my name. So bottom line here is that if it doesn't appear that your measurements are getting tracked in the app, monitor that unknown measurements section and weigh yourself a handful of times and that should do it. All right, let's get to what this scale can measure. Body Smart measures your weight, but also does your body composition. It'll measure your visceral fat index, which is the fat lurking around organs. It'll also check your water mass. Then there's your BMI or body mass index, and it can also show you an approximation of your basal metabolic rate or the rate of calorie burn at rest. The scale will also give you your heart rate. The first couple of times I took a measurement, I just got a heart rate error message on the scale and nothing showed up inside the app. But after about the third time, it finally started to display my data. Even so, on future weigh-ins, this was actually still hit or miss whether or not it would display it or not. Again, this just illustrates to me that the Withings scale is a bit glitchy. But in all honesty, these glitches, while well, frustrating for myself and probably other users out there, I bet, they seem to resolve themselves this time, which was a huge relief. The Body Smart scale can keep track of up to eight users, and each user's data is kept private. The batteries should last about 15 months before they need replacing, depending on how often you're using it. I've only had the scale for a few weeks, so I can't make a judgment about total battery life just yet. 
Withings recognizes that getting on the scale sometimes can induce anxiety in some folks, so they've implemented what the company calls eyes closed mode. Instead of your weight, the Body Smart will display motivational messages to keep you engaged in your fitness journey. Your measurements are recorded and tracked within the app, allowing you to check them later or whenever you want. This helps in keeping people focused on their weight loss progress and maybe not necessarily those natural day-to-day -day fluctuations. There's also an athlete mode, pregnancy mode, and a baby mode in case you have other more specific needs for your scale. Overall, I'm relieved to say I've had a much better Withings experience this time around. While I do still want to spend some additional time with this scale to be sure, I'm heartened to find things seem a little bit easier for users. Let's go over the pros and the cons. On the pro side, the scale's design is sleek and modern. It feels durable, not like you're going to crush some glass, and the weight seems accurate for me personally. The color display screen, which I can customize to show whatever metrics I'm most interested in, looks nice and it makes the experience more personal. The scale automatically feeds data to the Withings app, even if you don't have it nearby or open on your phone. You also have the option of adding manual weights if you need to weigh in somewhere else and just want to keep things in one place, like the Withings app. The scale also tracks some solid and usable data and it integrates with other health apps you might want to use as well. When it comes to the downsides, I did find the scale still a little bit glitchy, but nowhere near the disastrous experiences I've had with previous Withings scales. I feel like the company is maybe doing their best to refine the user experience and make the product a little bit better and more user friendly. I also didn't like the way you need to manually assign the first half dozen weigh-ins on the scale and that the app doesn't walk you through how to do this or even tell you that it's necessary. In short, I can recommend the Withings Body Smart Scale to you if you're looking to keep better tabs on your health and you don't mind a few minor glitches. This model sells for about 99 US dollars or 149 Canadian and you can get it from places like Amazon. But if this smart scale is maybe out of your budget, I reviewed a $20 smart scale recently that absolutely blew me away. You can check that out right now.